Now, when we talk about open, open typed instruments, this is where it's open on both sides. And so, you know, like an air column like this, where this side is open and that side is open. And so some instruments fall under this category, like flutes. Flutes are an example of an open, open type instrument. And so, you know, we push or we blow the air through the instrument and it produces the sound. And we're going to take a look at the first one here, the first harmonic. So we can draw out an open air column. And it's, again, open on both sides. And so one way we, that we can draw the first harmonic here is by having, you know, a compressed air on the one side and then uh, spread out air ref refraction on the other side with a node in the middle. And so what you end up getting here is the first harmonic. And depending on the frequency of this instrument, let's say it's a 400 hertz instrument, 400 times per second, you know, the compression, the refraction are going to be switching. And so, you know, this this over here will be a refraction and then this will be a compression. The node will stay the same in the middle because um, it's a standing wave. Now, if we draw on top of this, the equivalent in terms of uh, wavelength, you know, the compression's up here, then you have the rarefaction. And so if we were to complete this, um, down we would go down to the node here and then uh, in here, we would come up to the node. And so in this case here, what we would have to do if L represents the length of the pipe, we would multiply L by two. So two times L is equal to the wavelength. And so when we have that, the, you know, we've got the, the crust up here, then uh, come to the trough and you know, this is coming to the node, this is coming to the node, this is L here. So 2 times L is going to equal the wavelength, and we know V equals frequency times wavelength. So 2L is going to come in here. So V equals frequency times uh, 2L. And then the frequency itself, we divide both sides by 2L. So frequency equals uh, V over 2L. And that's for the first harmonic. So it turns out with this, the, you know, the first harmonic and this, this equation looks just like we had with strings. And so therefore, you know, it's actually going to be a, whatever integer that we have n in here for the first harmonic n equals one um, that we have for that. And then we'll look at uh, what happens with the second harmonic as well. So it turns out with open-end instruments, they have all the harmonics. We have first, second, third, fourth, and so on. And so it's actually the superposition of all those different harmonics inside the same tube. And so, you know, we get that there with open-open. Uh, so if we draw the second harmonic, let's draw the opening here. And with the second harmonic, um, you have to think about, you know, what would the next thing be here? So... What ends up happening is, you know, we we add a, another node and an anti-node, and so in this case here, you have compression to rarefaction back to compression here. So compression to a node, right? Node here to rarefaction to a node, and then back to a compression. And it turns out L in this case L is a full wavelength. You know, so L is equal to the wavelength for the second harmonic. And that's helpful because we can, you know, we had the first harmonic there, but now with the second harmonic, we have that. So just like we looked at, you know, the frequency equals V over 2L, and then N is the integer. In this case, N equals 2. So when 2 comes in here, 2s are gone, and you have V over L, which makes sense, right? Because in this case, you know, you have L as the length of the pipe, and so that is equal to the wavelength. So V equals frequency times wavelength. L is that, and so frequency equals V over L, which is, the, you know, what we get there with um, an integer of 2 with the frequency. And so when we draw this out, we can draw it like this, where we have the compression node, refraction node, compression, or refraction node, compression node, refraction, right? So if we could start here, 
from up to compression and then back down to rarefaction. And so again, still L is equal to the wavelength here from a trough to a trough, whereas this was crest to uh, crest. So in this case here, um, why don't you go ahead and try this. Let's say that the wind instrument here is 44 centimeters, which you're going to need to get into meters second harmonic, and the speed of sound in the air is 343 meters per second. That's another important distinguishing thing with, oh, with wind instruments is we are using uh, the speed of sound in air. And so go ahead and pause the clip and um, give that a shot. And then when you're ready to check, you can hit play to continue. All right, so we know our integer n is 2. This is 0.44 meters. And we get a frequency of 779.55, which is the second harmonic for this wind instrument. So again, NV over 2L, we get all the, you know, all of the, the harmonics. Um, the tube is open on both ends. And it's important to note, too, that you must have antinodes at the ends. And, you, and then there's the nodes in the middle, but you have to have antinodes at the ends. Therefore, you know, each additional harmonic, no matter what, you're going to have antinodes at the ends. And so that's really uh, an important part here. And so you could have, you know, first, second, third, so on, fourth, fifth. And then we use, again, this equation NV over 2L with all the harmonics present. But the big, big thing today, too, and this is really, really, really important, V is the speed of sound in air because the the waves themselves right are in are in the air and so that's a really important part with this